As the largest body in the asteroid belt, the dwarf planet Ceres, formerly One Ceres, frequently appears in science fiction. Topic: Literature. Topic: 19th century. In Garrett P. Service Edison's Conquest of Mars 1898, The Martians from H.G. Wells' The War of the Worlds 1897 are engaged in a war with giant beings from Ceres. <laughs> 20th century Topic: Comics. Mummies of Ceres is a 1936 storyline in the Buck Rogers comic strip. Topic: Literature. Ceres is mentioned in some of the stories of Isaac Asimov, who usually situates an observatory on Ceres, as for example in the juvenile novel Lucky Star and the Pirates of the Asteroids 1953 and the Wendell Earth mystery, The Dying Night 1956. In Alfred Bester's book The Stars My Destination 1956, the main character claims to be a wealthy lord from Ceres. Ceres is mentioned in passing in Robert A. Heinlein's The Cat Who Walks Through Walls, Podcane of Mars, Red Planet, Time for the Stars and the Rolling Stones. Ceres is a prison planet in the A. Bertram Chandler's novelette. Raiders of the Solar Frontier", 1950, published in Donald A. Walheim's pulp magazine Out of This World Adventures In the June Encyclopedia 1984, Ceres becomes the "...seat of the Empire", i.e., capital after Earth is hit by an asteroid. In Joe Haldeman's novel Buying Time 1989, UK title The Long Habit of Living, Ceres is the home of a stateless society, which becomes important because of a secret research project to reinvent the Stileman rejuvenation process. In Larry Niven's Known Space Stories 1964 onward, the asteroid belt has a government based on Ceres. It is also the site of the narrow but deciding victory against the Kazan Fourth Fleet during the First Man-Kazan War. In The Killing Star 1995 by Charles R. Pellegrino and George Zebrowski, some of the few humans who survive the initial alien attempt to exterminate the species hide out inside of Ceres. In Jerry Ponal's Exiles to Glory 1974, republished 2007, series is the site of an interplanetary mystery involving the theft of asteroid mined super heavy metals. In Bob Shaw's book The Series Solution 1981, extraterrestrials attempt to use Ceres to destroy Earth's moon thereby removing the effect of third order forces that have been stunting human development since the dawn of civilization. In L. Neil Smith's novel The Venus Belt 1981, Ceres contains a large underground city and several small settlements and stations, connected by a network of inverted highways. In Bruce Sterling's novel Schiss Matrix 1985, series Datacom News is a quasi-national entity networking the communications of the cybernetically enhanced inhabitants of the asteroids. In S. M. Sterling's Dracker novel The Stone Dogs 1990, the Alliance for Democracy has a large base on series. 
in Marooned in Real Time 1986 by Werner Vinge, one of the murder suspects is the holder of a PhD in Mayan archaeology from the Universidad Politécnica de Ceres. In the Doomsday Effect 1986 by Thomas Wren, Ceres is used to capture a small black hole which was slowly devouring the Earth. It is the focus of L. Neil Smith's novel series 2009. It is home base to an advanced human culture come to bootstrap Earth in order to fight an alien threat in the local galaxy in Raymond L. Viles' Slaver Wars series. <laughs> Manga In the Sailor Moon Meta series, 1995, a subset of villains called the Amazonas Quartet appear in the fourth arc of the manga and its anime counterpart, Sailor Moon Supers. The leader of the Amazonas Quartet is Cerisere, who is later revealed to be a Sailor Senshi named Sailor Series. Topic: 21st century. Topic: Comics. In Sandy Sandfort's Scott Beeser's and Lee Oakes's webcomic Escape from Terror, Terran forces attempt to conquer the free human colony on Ceres. Topic Literature Mundus Serialis 2012, by Andy Frankham Allen and Sharon Bidwell, a novella in the second series of Space 1889 and Beyond, is set on and within series, in an alternative history in which mankind are in space during the Victorian era. In Ben Bova's series Asteroid Wars 2001 a small mining base is established on Ceres. In James S. A. Corey's Expanse series, Ceres is the largest colony in the asteroid belt, housing 6 million people. Series rotational speed had been artificially increased prior to the events of the novels, providing its inhabitants with a weak artificial gravity. Inhabitants of Ceres, and the asteroid belt in general, are referred to as belters and are much taller and thinner than the inhabitants of the inner planets because of the low gravity. In John Batson's In Search of a Legacy 2014, book two of four in his Adventures of a Space Bum series, Ceres is a dry and desolate planet neglected by the central government of Earth. In Higher Reality 2015 by Alexander Jantzer, Ceres in the year 2177 is the home of 30.000 people who live in magnetically rotating buildings for a gravitational effect. <laughs> <laughs> Films In the movie The American Astronaut 2001 series has a bar called the Series Crossroads, where a dance contest is held. <laughs> <laughs> Games In the PC role-playing game Buck Rogers, Countdown to Doomsday 1990, Ceres is the location of an abandoned RAM enemy research base. In the PC game Descent 1995, one of the secret levels takes place on Ceres. In the PC game Descent 3 1999, one of the missions requires the player to extract virus data samples from an underground research laboratory. In the FPS, RPG Destiny, Ceres was colonized by an alien race called the Fallen following the cataclysmic end of humanity's Golden Age. Ceres was later totally destroyed by the forces of the Reef, a civilization of post-human, awoken, 
who inhabit the asteroid belt, to prevent the fallen there from joining their brethren on Earth in an attack on humanity's last city. In the RPG Mutant Chronicles, Ceres is the homeworld of Cybertronic Megacorporation. In the PC Star Control series, Ceres Base is the place where formal contact with an alien species the Chenyezu, is first made. Following the Yor Kuan War, the destruction of Ceres Station by the invading Yor Kuan fleet signifies the defeat of the human race, leading to their subsequent enslavement. In the SNES video game Super Metroid, a space colony named Ceres appears as the first playable area. It is unknown if it is related to the actual dwarf planet, though it appears to be surrounded by asteroids, implying that it too is in an asteroid belt. In the PC game Terminal Velocity 1995, one of the missions involves the player destroying a machine that would cause Ceres to crash into Earth. In the RPG Transhuman Space, it is the largest colony in the asteroid belt and is an independent state living in functional anarchy. In the PC game Warframe, Ceres is a space system and planet controlled by the Grenier Empire, a race of cloned humans. In the fictional Warhammer 40,000 universe, the Adeptus Mechanicus renews its alliance with the Imperium of Man with the Treaty of Ceres, following the Age of Apostasy. In the computer game Zone of the Enders, there is a space colony on Ceres. Television <inaudible> 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 In the TV series Exosquad (1993–5), Ceres is the assumed location of the first Neo Mega breeding facility. In the TV series The Expanse (2015), Ceres is inhabited by humans. Topic. See also. Series Mining of Series Topic Notes <laughs> <laughs>